Hey, what's up guys? Shuckle King here, bringing you episode 23 of my Pokemon Scarlet Blind Nuzlocke. Um, we got beat up a little bit last episode. Um, Cassie Kid went down, but we beat probably like a mid-tier um, Pokemon gym, which I'm pretty content about. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is face another Titan. Um, or it might not be called a Titan. No, I think they're all called Titans, right? Um... I think the next one I'm going to go for is, um, across the way over here. Uh, I think there was one that was pretty close to the entrance. This guy? Yeah, the Stony Cliff Titan. I think that's going to be the, the one we go for next. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think this should be... Uh, is this a badge? What is this? When this claim they seen a giant stone moving on its own in Area 3. I don't get... I, I don't think that one should be that hard to take on because it's still pretty early on in, like, the grand scheme of the map. Yeah, we're... So it's, uh... This guy? Yeah. I think that was the closest one I saw that was, like, to the front. I think the Donphan is... Still going to be pretty tough. So we'll check in there. Uh, did I pin that? I don't think I pinned it. Let's see if I can figure out how to pin. So we've gone here. We can just fly up to this area. But we're going to have to get another encounter. Uh, set its destination. So it'll be a little bit of exploring. Um... Yeah. Alright, let's see. Make sure there's nothing else that I think would be easier. To... Oh, it shows you the order of stuff you've done. That's pretty cool. So I got like a, a weird looking map at the end. That looks like a cave. Okay, so these three things look like a cave. What is that? That's probably still far up. I didn't even notice when there's out in the water up here. Where was it? This is far north. Oh, uh, no, this is south. North is the green area. So, oh, uh, there's something out here. And now we can go on the water. So that's, like, an option for sure. But that's probably going to be pretty tough. Yeah, we'll go for this guy. We'll fly over here. Where else can I get an encounter? Um, the mountains, I think that's still probably too tough. West area province 3. Um, West Province Area 3, like near this area. Um, that could be an option, but I think it'll probably still be too tough to go out there. And I don't think they're going to listen to me anyway. Um, South Province, yeah, let's say I have Area 1, which was Flamigo Area 5. And I, get, I got nothing in South Province Area 5. Where's that? over here okay this looks realistic to get to it looks like it's not that tough so yeah can we go oh we should be able to go into the water too so i think we can get the south province area five is that gonna be easier to go this way or like this way and go in the water we'll go we'll we'll fly to here regardless yeah we'll fly there um and I think we're going to go to South Province area. F but we could just go to the Steel Titan area. And it looks pretty close. It might just be on top of the mountain. Um, let's take a closer look at that map. Maybe I should have been more ready for this. So it looks like... It looks like there's... I mean, if we can go this way. And up and around this path, then it looks pretty doable. Otherwise, it looks kind of tough to get to this area. Or we just go... Across this bridge. Is this bridge in the area five? It is. Okay. Getting to that bridge should be pretty easy then. So let's put a pin like Yeah, actually it looks easier if we just fly to Mesagoza and just take that bridge. Yeah. I think that should be pretty easy. Do we have to like walk through the door? I think we do. 
So a little bit of decisive, indecisiveness the first couple minutes of this, but. So step. Okay. <laughs> there's the bridge. Um, there's South Area Five. I don't think going into the water is going to help me much. So yeah, we'll um, we'll take that bridge, get a new encounter, and then try to face that. Um, this uh, what is it, Rock Titan? <laughs> I do have, what, two fighting types on this team now, with the Electric Dog and the Flamigo. Uh, pawn, uh, what's it, Palmo? And we might as well get you trained up a little bit. We should probably also go to a Pokemon Center. Um, but we'll just, uh, we'll auto heal you, Lechonk. Alright, that is Oink Oinkaloge, but, uh, yeah, once once you're uh, once he's healed up, I'm pretty sure I could take anything on. Is this the bridge I was looking at? It looks like it, doesn't it? It's like tall. What is this? So I can't get across. Oh, well, it looks like there's steps that way, right? But I think that looks jumpable. Alright, Tranimo! South Province Area 5. But I think we have an encounter here, right? Oh, we don't. This is South Province Area 5, technically. I don't know if there's, like, any Monzo around here or not. Super Potion. Still need that. So not bad. In level 25, it'll guaranteed listen to us, which would be not required, but nice. Can I get up here? Nope. I don't die going into the water. That's sweet, isn't it? Probably let me uh, travel a lot more. What are you, Basculins? Not terrible, but don't think it's what I'm looking for. It looks like there are items up here, so I'll try to get them. Uh, you are the salt guy. That that blade of grass scared me. It was only a blade of grass. Oh, Stantler. I mean, yeah, not not a great mom, but your second evolution of a uh, of the Corviknight, right? I guess. I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure if I had three stage or two stage evolution I'm guessing it was three stages okay and we'll go down into the water uh, avoid this side duck uh, you're gonna tell me I can't jump up here I don't want to get attacked by uh, by Basculins either. It wouldn't be the worst thing, but uh, this looks a little more passable, is it? Ah! Darn it! I got completely baited. Psyduck, I guess you're joining the team. Alright, we got a Psyduck. Great. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I, I, I mean, I would have preferred the uh, the Basculin. Wouldn't have preferred a Surskit, though. Alright, I guess we got our fodder. Psyduck. Water types are generally good, so... Not the worst thing. I guess. The duck Pokemon. I do like ducks. Well, we have to go with Howard, one of the best superheroes out there. Howard a duck. I don't know when he's getting a remake of the the movie that was in the, in the early '80s. Uh, I think it was early '80s, right? The Howard a duck movie. That was before the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I guess. That's an unfortunate encounter. But welcome to the team. Hey. Better than nothing at all, I suppose. 
We've had some rough accidental encounters here, but we still have North Province Area 3 and the Mountain Passes, West Province Area 3. We have some, um, we have options to still get some decent encounters. It's just nice to get the, uh, nice to get the weak encounters, uh, for fodder in case we run into stuff that's stronger later. Um, but Golduck, like, will have stats eventually. It's gonna be a little lower leveled, but... Ah, thank you for charging a Terror Orb. Oh, let's see. Let's see what items you got. You have Super Potions? A, a. It's by 20. Sweet. Yeah, we don't need Heal Balls or Grave Balls or anything like that. I mean, better than nothing. Better than nothing. I guess that's like the theme of this episode. It's not great, but better than nothing. All right, so we're gonna try to go up here. And that should lead us to... All right, so generally follow this path. That seems pretty solid. And let's put you out front. I don't think you have an item that's worth it. Battle me, for I am mighty. Okay, I'll take you on. You think you're that mighty? For I give my Pokemon a mighty item to hold. I am mighty. I don't know what that would be. Severino, the office worker. It's weird you're out in the mountains at that anything. Do you have like a Violite? I don't know what you would have. I'm guessing it's like mighty. They've, they've made the... Uh, like the illusion that it's some like it's probably gonna have mighty in the name or something. Um, minus special attack plus defense. That's a really tough nature. That's a tough nature. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll get Lechonk and get the kill. Go. A little slow. We got stockpile. Oh, going for the setup? I, I, I respect it, Mr. Office Worker. Probably won't die in one hit then. Let's see. From the headbutt, it's not a headbutt? Ah, uh, I guess you do. Well, that's too bad. Will you give me the item? That'd be clutch if you did. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it's gonna be not bad. I'm guessing that's not a violate. I'd be surprised that would've killed. A skiddo? Um, whatever. We'll just stay in and get the kill. Two Pokemon, wow. It seems pretty rare when that's the case. Headbutt without going without using my head. Get the kill. Looks more like a body slam or I guess a takedown even. Alright, office workers down. My might and my items mean nothing in the face of a mighty trainer like you. Ah, decent money. Thank you. Update the Pokedex. Um, going straight. So it looks like that way. What is this This big guy? Put you out front. Alright. What are you? How, how high level are you? Oh, cloth. I'm guessing you're rock water? Wow, that didn't even kill. That's pretty impressive. Anger shell. Is that if you get hit by a physical attack? Wow, what is this? It's like a weaker shell smash? Better weak armor? Oh, you get flinched. Yeah. Oh, well, that's easy. Oh, that's cool. That'd be risky for a, for a playthrough, but... Or a Nuzlocke especially, but... That's a cool ability. I would have liked that on my team. But alas. The hasty men. Alright, we'll fight you too. Might as well fight the trainer. Suddenly from the bushes. Boo! Ha! Now you never saw that coming. I feel like I came to you, and because, um, like, you don't auto battle as soon as you lock eyes, that. I don't know if the sneakiness really worked. Sun Kern. Oh, Lechonk is out. Oh, I probably should have. Um, switched out here, but we'll get this kill. Easy. Um, yeah, we'll train up our weaker mods, I suppose. Might as well. 
Make this play if you're not that easy. Yeah, we will switch out. Especially if it's draining out. Hour to duck. Might get a kill with Water Pulse. Which is not that bad of a... For level 17, Water Pulse is pretty strong. A60 water move could confuse. 30% chance to confuse. I mean, yeah. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Yeah, go for Water Pulse. Unless we have Sturdy, this should kill. Nice. Rock Hat, I think, is the other ability. Does it get Sturdy? I believe it does. Might be mistaken. All right, Benjamin. Nothing to me. I didn't see that coming at all. Oh, uh, well. I like the confidence. I guess I'll put it at that. Full heal. Yeah, we're gonna need that potion before we face this uh, this rock guy. Awakening, huh? Are you just camping out here? Oh, you're healing. Ah, oh, why? Thank you. Pickle, ham, mayonnaise, mustard. I'm not a I'm not a mayonnaise person. Um, yeah, I guess we'll rest up, and then we'll take on this, uh, the stone guy. Come back for long honor. Well, that way, thank you. That's really nice of you. It looks like I continue following this path, though I think if I just go here, it'll lead me the same way. Oceans. Um, I'm close, right? Yeah, we'll pin you more sp specifically. This way. Okay. Ah, that'll do it. Rock type? That's actually not great for my team to take on. Um, let's put Roxanne out front. Hello. What's up, big rock guy? Has to be good, right? Up, just one up the rock. Come back here, you slime. Gonna climb up again. Gonna face me once and for all. It is kind of scary knowing that it has that ability of raising its attack and. Special attack by one. I don't know what your level is. Um, I'll go for protect. Rock smash. That's not going to do much. Yeah, because it's resisted. Um, I feel fine going for a low kick. Maybe I should have territorialized. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I think it always goes to that low HP if uh, if it gets hit once. All right, find this stony cliff tight. Well, I went down here. I think I found it. Oh, that looks like I'm dead. The Titan Cloth began eating something. Joe, you found it! And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No cloth has got any business being that big. It's gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs. Let's watch yourselves, Joe. We got you.
We got you. I see you. Yeah, let's terratalize now. Well, this is looking a little rough. Shelter, let's serve up a helping and defeat. One and a half, Shell. I got it, your Shell. This is also a Shell that you're fighting. So you're like, to eat this cloth. Which, eating rock seems kind of weird. But like, the Shell is like rockish, which, so I like, I, I guess it makes sense you're eating like the meat inside. Get that meat inside that Shelter, or Cloister at least, but. Let's kill. That kills. Nice, I must be overleveled <laughs> or um, low kick space powers like super high and takes this out in one hit. Ah, easy. You to fight defeat the Titan Cloth. That's not even much experience. Howard Duck is level 18 though. Is that a headbutt? Sure. I guess you'll be a physically attacking Golduck, which is definitely an, a thing. Uh, yeah, my special attack is low, but it's still higher. But yeah, we'll get rid of. I would never actually click Fury Swipes. Sweet. Is this guy evil? Alright, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. These Titan Pokemon, yeesh. I shall now have something like this so tough out to get me. I mean, what do we got? I bet somewhere in here is more that herb of Mystica that Titan was eaten. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. Alright, we're gonna go through this this uh, story catalog again. Dialogue. Hmm. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb in here. I assume that'd be the case. I knew it. Do I have to go? I guess so. Shining purplish? The first one's shining greenish, right? I don't know if the color makes a difference. It really is here. This is one of the herbs, makes no mistake. You and Arvin found a sweep, Herba Mystica. Woohoo, we did it! Thanks, Joe. No problem. Now then, let's see, what does this book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health, and that it aids digestion. It's great for stomachs, too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Will I get an ability for my, uh, my legendary guy again? I'm waiting for us. Time to dig in. Let's whip up something for us. Where's he going to run off to? <sighs> yeah, you see, he's kind of giving off the impression that he's evil, but I don't know. Bob's your uncle. Here you go. My special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. A side of the Titan badge. Hey, there it is. We're getting badges. Maybe a badge an episode for like a for a little bit here. Let's we did the exploring. All right, you're back. Yeah, you can eat my sandwich. What do you think? You wasn't gonna come out again? Yeah. Did I not get my sandwich? Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's funny. Getting stronger. Ah, oh, we can actually run faster. Nice. I'll take that. They do pack a punch. Wonder what you're using it for. Hmm. Team suspicious. There's another sandwich on the table. He's gonna eat that too. Dude, don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. I mean, it's okay. Oh, the story. Come on out, bud. 
Do you have like the opposite one for the other game? Oh no. This is Mobsodeef. My partner. Oh, that's a cute dog. Like trying to save his dog. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so sad. you tried a Pokemon Center. I said this wasn't any regular old injury or illness. My boss Satif here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So, I promise I can make him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online. I read books. I looked all over and tried to cure at and remedy every cure and remedy I could find. Nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystic guy. What is this book? I found it in my mom's lab. Herba Mystica. Agent Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Okay, so like these two. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody usually believes. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. I mean, they're, they're pretty big. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabasatif's paws were cold as ice before it ate that last herb. But they've warmed up a little bit now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you're done eating, bud? Hey, my boss, Sativ, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it! it it's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh, man. I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I mean, my dog, my, my old dog was, was playing for like four or five years, the last four or five years of his life. And said, Hey. Aw, oh, look at him. His fire orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're opened or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Matasuki back to full health, I swear it. Uh, oh, yeah. So that's my story. Three herbs to go, let's find them. Together. The music's nice. ro da da, -da. This is Tsada. Hello, Joe. I detect the Crawdon to gain more of its original power. Seems to now be able to dash at high speed while you're riding upon it. By pressing the lift stick. You strike a tree, will will fall down, allowing you to battle him. Okay. I am relying to continue to take good care of Crawdon. Alright, sweet. Alright, so another thing completed in this game. Um. We didn't lose Amon this time. We gained Howard a duck, which isn't the best, but it is fodder. So we were successful in that part. But yeah, um, yeah, we'll figure out what we're doing uh, next episode. I'll have to figure out. If I want to go for another gym badge, maybe I continue this story arc. We'll see. But yeah, until next time. Later, guys.